it's been a while i haven't made any day vlog and i kind of miss it so today i brought my camera with me to record our day but this is not just any day this is a special day the reason is today marks my one year anniversary of being in a prison of a marriage so yeah to make this day fun and memorable i decided to make my supri and i mean my wife special so i asked her that hey whatever she want to do we'll do that and i'll just tag along and follow her guess what she chose the first thing to do to go for a walk on a lake when the temperature is 32 degree fahrenheit or zero degree centigrade parking lot behind me is all empty but here we are because she wants to go for a walk get some exercise start the day right you know gotta lose the belly somehow i don't like it what are you saying don't slip on anything why it's very icy over here okay unless you want to like land on your face and not be so sexy anymore this place literally has ice traps Yet still she wants a walk. I want to push all the limits with you right now. So what's your feelings to city screaming we're not coming home tonight. We're living quick in this world gonna get it right now. There is literally no one on the track and the track is so quiet and peaceful that I kind of miss it. I used to come over here all the time but then I stopped it but now she comes over here all the time and she did not told me that how good it was glad to have you back i feel good but they all disappear they will let you down so we better stick together let's come whatever we're not coming home tonight we have almost an half of this walk of this lake and it is just amazing and beautiful but now coming to the first point of the video the first question how did we met and this time it won't be my version of the story it will be her version of the story that how we met it should be interesting people know my version of the story that how we met in the car and how you almost killed me in that car what do you have to say about that part that part is not true i did not almost kill him he was so dramatic i was just going 40 miles an hour just 40 miles an hour back street roads nothing crazy no highways i was just driving normal this one was so scared to catch and was clutching the ocean handle and had his seat belt super buckle tight he was so afraid after that so-called scary trip we went to marywood i dropped him off he went to go play soccer with some friends that was the first time we met. Finally, her version of the story is out. As you can see, that she thinks that my life was not in danger, whereas my side of the story was and is that my life was in danger. Now, question number two, and the rest of the questions will be down the road. Let's keep walking. We only need the two of us together. We only need the two of us together. Baby, I'll give you five bucks if you'll swim in that water beside there. I'll make you swim for free. I'll push you. How about you go skinny dipping in there? You have to teach me what skinny dipping is. Go there. Mm -hmm. Chop. Chop. We only need the two of us together. We only need the two of us together. The walk is finally done. We are back at the parking lot. It was a nice walk. We took almost 1 hour and 40 minutes and we walked for almost like 10,000 steps. That was such a good and refreshing walk. Now, let's discuss the question number two and go for some kind of snack. Question number two is that I found on the internet about that that a lot of people think that you are a millionaire. Oh. And I am a stay at home sexy man. True. Okay. My millions are a secret. That is confidential information. So I cannot disclose how much I have. But I will tell you one thing, that this one over here, this one stays home all day, plays his video games, and goes about his life. Whereas I'm the hard worker doing everything, serving him all the time, going to work every day. Do you know why? I don't know Brother why. Tate told me. Brother Tate. I follow Brother Tate. Brother Tate. I follow Brother Tate. Do you see this button me over here? are spinning round in my head I'll both so sit down Cause I'm almost there Now 
now I see you through the window when I'm walking on air. What did you brought? Empanadas. Oh. Empanadas and oh. juice. Oh, what juice is that? Is? That would be a passion fruit. Oh, but first thing first, give me my this thing because I feel violated if you have this. <laughs> the food is secured and now we are on our way towards our home where we'll change our clothes so that we can wear something fancy and then we'll go to bowling and after that towards our amazing dinner. But before we do that comes the question number three. What's question number three? Question number three is do you know Urdu? And if yes, how much Urdu do you know? If two aunties are talking shit about you, will you know about that or no? I could probably figure it out, but I'm not too good at Speaking. So that you will know if some aunties will be talking shit? Probably. Damn. I can't tell them my secrets. I have to pretend like I'm dumb so that they talk the shit so I can understand it. Oh. Okay, say something in Urdu. Like what? How are you? How are you? Kya <laughs> So the next question that I have is how does it feel to be a year into the marriage almost by the end of the year? Well, they say the first year is always the toughest. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad it's over. <laughs> I just think it happened like super fast. I can't believe it's a year. But it's so much fun seeing your best friend every day. Empanadas are good. Hi! Here I am being sentimental. You're talking about your empanadas? Very good. My viewpoint on almost being a year is that I counted every single day. Do you know why? Because only the prisoners count the days. Superintendents enjoy it. <laughs> and that was an amazing snack. Now we are all ready to go towards our next destination, which is bowling. The reason we're going for bowling is because bowling has been big in our life since we have been together for the last couple of years. Every year we participated in a bowling league. We ain't the greatest ballers, but, but we ball here and there. So that's why she chose to ball today. And that's why we are over here because this is the place where we used to ball all the time. And we have so many coupons that tonight game is going to be free. We have our shoes. Absolutely no cost at all, just coming over here and playing for free. What a beautiful life. I'm gonna whoop your ass tonight. We'll see about that. We'll see about that. Your Challenge your accepted. Andrew Tate told me how to play games. <laughs> but not that much. Get some memories. Now we are all ready for the balling, but I need to find my ball, which I don't know. Let's see. Okay. Um. I'm warming up, okay? Give me a second. Okay. Don't angry me. <laughs> okay, so far in the game, I am leading and she is not. It's my turn. But before I go for the turn, question number, how much? Which was the question number? Four or five? Four maybe? Uh, four or fifth question. So the next question is, how is your life being married to a brown guy? And while you give the answer, I'll go play. So that, my friends, is a loaded question. Um, overall, it's awesome because I get to experience a new culture and new food and all, trying new things all the time. It's awesome. And even learn a new language, right? Like, that's awesome. But on the bad side of that is people are crazy and judgy and they don't understand our relationship sometimes or they're like thinking, oh, he just wants the green card and all that nonsense. So that's the only bad side of it. But overall, it's great. And brown boys are so cute. I'm cute. <laughs> Before I go and start around, let's ask a bonus question. And the question this time is, which food is better? English. Or Pakistani? 100% oh, Pakistani. And what is your favorite dish? Chana masala. What about biryani? Well, that's up there too. I don't know, I can't pick one. They're both really good. So you like chanas? Yeah, I do. If you go to Pakistan, what will you eat? Chanas every day for breakfast. The chana coin is coming. I can't wait.
Some good um, bowling matches. What do you think about it? I'm happy. You won one. I won she one. only won one. I won two. But she kicked my ass in the end. Yeah, they're very good. Not bad for not playing after like months. You know, Andrew Tate told me, if women win, you should beat them. Oh my god. No, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> so, anyways, let's pretend you didn't hear that. Okay? I take my words back. Well, I'm still gonna beat your ass. Anyways, now bowling is all done. So now we are on our way towards our dinner. A good dinner to a restaurant which is a very special one. The reason we stayed in the area and going to that restaurant is because there is an interesting story about that which I'll tell you once we go there. Here we are at the restaurant and whew, what do you think about it? Hard to find parking. This place must be doing pretty good. But at least we found some. We are right now at Casa Milan Italian restaurant, which is the best Italian restaurant in Scranton, oh. one of the best. And the reason it's very special to us is because I proposed her over here. And the funny part about that proposal is that when I took the knee, when I proposed her, she did not answer me. And the reason I didn't answer is because he never asked the question. <laughs> he just got down on one knee and was staring at me lovingly in the eyes. And I'm like, okay, do you want to ask me something? Because that's what people usually do. They ask like, will you marry me or something? In my defense, I did not know what to do or what to ask. I just saw a bunch of YouTube videos <laughs> and I just came to this, to, to this restaurant, took out the ring and be like, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> And she did not answer me for a couple of minutes. Very awkward. Very awkward. Worst thing ever. Well, I was in shock too because he just dropped this bomb on me un unknowingly. And everyone around us is just staring away to, at, with waited, um, staring at us with bated breath, wondering, well, is she going to say yes or no? What? <laughs> How can I say anything? He didn't ask me a question. <laughs> well, I did ask. The question was when I took the knee. That's like... Non-verbal question. Non-verbal question. <laughs> Anyways, enough of the story. We already placed an order and our appetizer is here and these are... What is this? Mushroom? Mushroom stuff with crab meat. Oh! Best thing ever. That was a good, fun and exciting day. I can say that I actually survived spending those couple of hours of the whole day with my wife. But the day is not over yet. We'll be heading out to see some lights. Just came home to change and be a little bit more comfortable. But we are going out to see some light show. But for you guys, it's all done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions regarding us, please feel free to write them down in the comment section and we will respond them to you. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And now I hope you guys enjoy the light show that is, yeah, right here.
Hey, feel I'm in the mood for a switch up. I hit the function, hit the rose till I hiccup.